Our next speaker is Yang Liu. Okay, uh, sorry for that. The slides was in the garbage bin. I don't know why. And <laughs> okay, so let's talk about our paper, uh, text summarization with protein encoders. And I'm Yang Liu. I'm from University of Edinburgh. And this co-author with my uh, supervisor, Mira Lapata. Okay, so let's see some background. Pre-train coders, uh, everyone must be very familiar with pre coders these days. And till today, there are over 1,000 citations of the AMO and BIRD paper. And on this EMRMP, we already have 10 papers with uh, BIRD in the title and an additional pa six paper with pre in the title. So uh, obviously, this is a very popular uh, topic in current AMRMP community. And the reason why we like these pre-trained models so much is mostly because they can improve the performance of many different tasks of an RMP, uh, including text classification, entailment, and reading comprehension. Uh, but you can see most of these tasks are of uh, natural language understanding. And so here in the summarization community, here is the question. Will BERT still work for summarization? And so there will be one major concern about this question. So BERT is trained on sentence level or sometimes on a pair of sentence. And will it work for encoding a document? And there are two more practical challenges. Well, the first challenge is that for extractive summarization, usually we need to uh, do classification of the individual sentences and we want the repetition of multiple sentences. But BERT does not have such a mechanism. And the second challenge is that uh, if you consider the abstract summarization, which is usually framed as the encoder-decoder problem, and BERT, because it is trained as a, a mask language model, is usually considered to be more suitable to uh, be the encoder. So there will be a gap between the pre-trained encoder and the random initialized decoder. And this is our second challenge. And here, to first give away all the punchline here, with some modifications of the input formats and the fine-tuning strategy, BERT works very fine as an encoder for summarization for both extractive and abstractive settings. And let's look at our model next. So first, BERT. Uh, I think everyone is very familiar with this, but let's still talk about it. Given an input document, BERT has a special token uh, inserted before the complete uh, input text. CRS is used to get features for the complete input text. And for each token within this input text, uh, there will be three kinds of embeddings. Uh, token embedding, segmentation embedding, and precision embedding. These three kinds of embeddings will be summed up and input into several transformer layers. And on the, op and on the top output layer, we'll get uh, context embeddings for each token with very rich uh, contextual information. And recall our first challenge of using BERT for summarization. We want to get a repetition of multiple sentences for extractive summarization. And what we did here is we simply insert uh, multiple CRS symbols before each sentence of the input document. And we will use the output vector of these CRS symbols as a representation for the sentence preceding this CRS symbol. And secondly, we will change the segmentation embedding of the original bird into an interval version. For example, if we have like five sentences, the interval segmentation embedding will be A, B, A, B, A. So this, in this way, this transformer may distinguish multiple sentences of the input document. Okay, so uh, here's the figure of our bird sum model, uh, which is bird for summarization. And two differences you might notice. Uh, the first is we ins the, the insertion of multiple CR symbols to get sentence vectors. And the second is uh, use the interval segmentation embedding to distinguish multiple sentences. Okay, uh, so let's see how can we can use this BERSAM encoder for extract summarization. Extracted summarization is usually framed as a sentence classification problem, where each sentence is classified as label zero if it should not be included as the summary sentence, and uh, class one if it should. So uh, the sol solution is very, very easy here. We will use BERSAM as encoder, and on top of the output of sentence vectors, we will stack additional inter-sentence transformer layers, and we will use them to capture task specific features. Here's a model. 
Uh, you can see it's very simple but efficient. We will use BERT as the encoder and we will stack several inter sentence transformer layers over the output sentence vectors. Okay, let's now see abstract summarization. Uh, if you think abstract summarization will be a different problem because it's usually framed as an encoder decoder generation problem. And uh, so you will have input document and you have encoder to encode the document into uh, representations and you will have decoder to generate summaries uh, condition on these uh, source outputs. And here we will use BERSUM as encoder combined with a random initialized decoder because as we said BERT is more suitable to be the encoder here. And recall our second challenge, the gap, the mismatch between the decoder which is pre-trained and the encoder, uh, and the decoder, which is random initialized. And our solution is a new fine tuning strategy by separating the optimizer of the encoder and decoder. And here's our abstractive model, uh, which is still very simple. We will use BERT sum as encoder, and we have a standard transform decoder with attention mechanism attended to the output of BERT. And the fine tuning strategy, uh, basically we want to use a smaller learning rate for the encoder because it's already pre-trained. And we want to use the larger learning rate for the decoder because it's random initialized. Meanwhile, we want to use a longer warming up for the encoder and a shorter warming up for the decoder. This is because we want that the encoder can still be efficiently trained when the decoder becomes stable because it was uh, totally random initialized at the beginning. And with this very simple strategy, we can actually make BERT work for generation. Uh, furthermore, we find that using extractive objectives combined with abstractive objectives can further boost performance of a, a summarizing system. So we use a two-stage fine-tuning approach, where we first fine-tune the encoder with extractive objective, and we will refine to it on the, uh, on the abstractive summarization task. So now let's talk about our experiments. We did experiments on four data sets. Uh, CN Dilemil is the first uh, large scale summarization data set. And NYT is New York Times data set. Uh, so the summary sentence of the NYT data set will be shorter than CN and Dilemil. And the fourth data set is Exxon, which is fetched from the BBC news website. And you can see the length of the summary in Exxon is always, uh, is always one sentence. And the percentage of the nouvelle bigrams, which means the bigrams appear in the target summary but not in the source documents, is very high, higher than previous three data sets. So it's a highly abstractive data set. And here's our uh, evaluation results. So first, automatic evaluation, and the metric here is root error. Uh, here are three baseline systems. The gray one is the lead baseline where we take the first several sentences of the news article as a summary. And the light blue one is the previous best extractive system. And the dark blue one is previous best abstractive system. And here are the bird based models where the light red one is uh, extractive bird and the dark red one is abstractive bird. We can see bird based systems outperform a previous system by large margin, especially on the NYT and Exxon data sets. And we also did some human evaluation. The first one is question three, where we will write some questions based on goal summaries, and we will give the participants these questions and system outputs and to see if they can answer these questions. Uh, and at the same time, and you can see BERT outperform previous systems again. The second human evaluation is quality ranking. We will ask a participant to rank several outputs of different systems, and uh, we will normalize score to, from minus one to one. And we can see birth based system only loses to reference summaries. Okay. And here's the analysis of the separation of the optimizers. Usually for fine tuning a pre-trained model, we will use a small linear rate for all parameters. And this will be this cell, which is, not, which is far away from optimum. And our combination of different linear rates actually perform, performs better. Okay, and uh, now let's see some example outputs. 
So this is a good example where we can see the previous system uh, generates something that's not very faithful to the source documents. But bird-based model will generate more precise summaries and give more details than we want. Okay. Um, but what I really want to show you is some bad examples. So this are, there are two hallucinations of our system outputs. Uh, let's see. So the first one will be more than 103 parties have been held in Edinburgh to celebrate the Queen's 90th birthday, uh, which actually in the source news, there's only one very small party to celebrate this. And the model generates like there are more than 100. So that totally different things. And the second example is completely wrong. Uh, Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump has said he will not vote for him in the race to the president. And actually the news is about uh, Donald Trump uh, campaigning for the uh, votes uh, to president. And so you can see uh, this kind of hallucination uh, is very annoying and they are, I think they are very difficult to, uh, to solve. And there are many different theories and reasons why do we have this hallucination. But here I want to say is that even with birds, there are still a long way toward a perfect summarization system. Okay, so um, here are some conclusions. Uh, what we did in this paper, very simple. We benchmarked birds on both extractive and abstractive summarization. For extractive summarization, we use the insertion of multiple CRS symbols to obtain the sentence vectors. And for abstractive summarization, we separate the optimizer of the encoder decoder uh, to, uh, to um, get a better performance for generation tasks. And what we got is bird sum with state of our results on four summarization datasets. And at the end of this talk, I want to, uh, I want to say that bird sum is a very simple but effective baseline model that you can use for your future research. And I'm sure with your brilliant mind and great ideas, uh, we can push the frontier of summarizing tasks even further. Okay, and uh, our code is already online and this is the end of this talk and I'm happy to take questions. Uh, thanks for the presentation. It's really an interesting talk. A uh, question here is, we know BERT has a size limit of 512. Uh, in your situation, how do you solve that? Are you doing some embedding for sentence first and concatenate, or you just set up that limit? Okay, so first, for the... Uh, for, for, for New York Times, the uh, input is longer than 500 tokens, but for the other data sets, uh, you can just use the first 500 tokens and the results are already very good. Uh, but we did uh, try to extend this limitation by using some random initialized position embeddings, uh, which is fine too with other parameters. Oh, hi, uh, my name is Dan Deutsch from the University of Pennsylvania. Um, how long did it take to train the model? Uh, how long does it take to train the model? Yeah. Okay, so we use four GPUs, and for ex extractive model, it took like half a day. And for abstractive model, I think it takes less than two days. More questions? Very simple questions. Uh, you said that you randomly initialize the uh, decoder. Could you please let's make the uh, details? How to how how do you make the this um, initialize the decoder? Okay, so decoder is initialized with a Gaussian uh, distribution, so it's like standard uh, neural network initialization. All right, more questions from the audience. Great, let's thank our speaker again.